Well, kids of all ages play and learn and explore. Located in the heart of Old Town, Albuquerque, the museum contains a collection of 250 interactive science, technology, and art exhibits. That puts learning in the palm of your hand. And joining me this morning is Explorer's External Relations Manager, Ellen Welker. Good Hello, morning. Hello, good morning. And I brought something for you. Because we're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to have a lot of fun. Here is your Explora apron. All right, let's do it. Here, I'll move my mic here so we can make, make sure we hear everything. Make you an official yeah. uh, Explora person, uh, staff, volunteer. And so why do I need this uh, apron today? What are we doing? You need the apron because we're going to do a little kitchen chemistry today. Ooh, this and sounds like a lot of fun. It is. You know, you mentioned that we have over 250 exhibit activities. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about Explora is that it's a place to investigate to discover, yes, to ask questions, and it's of a very materials-rich place, so you get to touch everything. Right, and it makes learning fun. I've been there before. It's so much fun there. Can you tell us a little more about what the museum has to offer and then kind of what you guys have going on this summer? Yes, we just opened a new exhibit. Uh, it's called Math Moves, mm -hmm. and it's about ratio and proportion, and you can throw your whole body into it and right. learn about uh, things that go fast and slow. And I think we have some videos. Yeah, well, some of the highlights and that one of about. the things that we have, um, this is kitchen chemistry that we're mm -hmm. going to be doing. This is one of our classes for the summer camp. Now we offer three camps and mm -hmm. this particular class, the kids are learning how to make muffins, but they're learning what happens if you leave out ingredients, if you omit oh. something or if you add a little bit of something else, too mm -hmm. much of something else. So again, it's a class of discovery right and our camps uh, that are offered this summer mm -hmm. our camp classes are offered for ages 5 to 15 here are the little ones and Aww. as you can see this is <laughs> perhaps one of their first experiences and there's another possibility what happens if you don't mix some of the materials wow so you learn about gosh I, I wish I'd had that class when I was younger because I've tried to bake muffins a couple of times here, moving from South Carolina to New Mexico when I hadn't turned out the best. I'll tell you, I still need the class, so, <laughs> so there you go. Well, we're going to learn a lot of uh, good little tips and have fun, some hands-on action today, too. We're doing a few science experiments. What do you have for me today, and what are we talking about? Well, I know it doing? kind of looks like what Professor Snape probably did in it the does. Harry Potter movies. So let's have you take this liquid, open that bottle. Okay. I'm going to take this. Okay. And what we're going to do is put it into this beaker. Right. And let's see what happens. So this is a mystery liquid. This could be a love potion number nine. Ooh, I need a love potion. <laughs> and nothing happens. Oh, wait. Whoa. There you go. That happened so Did fast. Did you see? <laughs> that really, oh, wow. Huh. So why did that happen? That's why you go to summer camp at Explora to learn <laughs> why that happens. That was pretty cool. It was like in a Isn't flash. Isn't that neat? I blinked it and it was a different color. Well, let's try something okay. else. Um, you know, is that bad if your love potion turns black? I don't. Well, maybe it means you have a sad or a hard it's heart. Kind of I don't know. Okay. And, and well, the love potion will love make potion. it better. Okay, we'll go with How's that. How's that? All right, what's the next thing? Okay, beet juice. Okay. 16th century women used to put uh, the beet juice on their lips. This is before like lipstick and stuff? Before, well lipstick I think was around maybe but um, developed through chemistry, right. kitchen chemistry using things that you have or you can use it to dye fabric. Ooh. So see, oh, it's a beautiful color. Wa want to take your white um, T-shirt and mm -hmm. make it pink? There you go. Just use some beet juice. Beet juice, and that, that color is actually really popular. Isn't this that spring. lovely? Really pretty, yeah. And you can also use an onion. You can use tea bags, and those can be used as fabric dyes naturally. Really? Yes. What, what color would an onion? Yellow. Yellow. Kind of a light yellow, oh, and yellow. of course tea would be brown depending on the strength mm -hmm. and, and or beige, and it stays. Um, wow. You may have to re-dye because of the natural elements mm -hmm. may fade away. Now what we're going to do, okay. and some of our summer camp classes, we have about 60 different programs, mm -hmm. and we have them for all ages. So they combine photography and oh, wow. theater programs, as well as learning about gears and robots and uh, the scope of, and breadth of what we do. We also go to the Bosque and learn about the ecosystem. So we're wow. outside in nature, and we have classes that we teach in Spanish. That 
is awesome. Is that cool? That, that's really, really cool. Isn't it great for the kids, too? You have all kinds of summer classes. Too. All you have, kinds. You have, like, a, a longer summer class for a few days, and then you have some that are just the overnight. That's or? right. What we have for summer is week-long camp classes. Mm -hmm. You can go in the morning for a whole week, or you can go in the afternoon, or you can go all day for a whole week. Wow. Or you can go all summer. It starts in June, so you okay. can register now. We also have two other camps, uh, spring break camp, winter break camp, but then we have the original night at a museum. We have our overnight oh, camp-ins, and that's great because first through eighth graders and their adult chaperones mm -hmm. can come to explore and spend the night. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. And they get to it do is. so many cool things. They and get we're... stuff like this. Yes. Now, let's we have try more, something. Right? Okay. You know, um, acids and bases. Our bodies okay. need uh, things with acidic properties mm -hmm. and base properties to, to be healthy. But how do you know what's an acid or what's a base? How do you know? This is baking soda. Well, we're going to find out. Okay. You're going to test it. All this right. is baking soda and water, mm -hmm. cabbage juice. Pour a little in. Okay. And if it turns green or blue, it's a base. Okay. Look at that. It's like a greenish, bluish color. There so we go. So it's a base. It is this a base. Is, so cabbage juice, not acidic. Cabbage juice, that's right. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next is a little bit of a chemistry experiment. Okay. And these are the kinds of things you get to do in uh -huh. summer camp. And the cool thing about Explora is that you get to ask why. Mm -hmm. um, how how does this work? How much of one thing is too much or and you just keep experimenting. Oh, I love this. So here is our this is vinegar. Okay. This is definitely an acid and something right. you'd find here in the kitchen. Baking soda. Are you ready? All right. These are two opposite pour, things, right? You have an acid and, and a, a base. base. And you're going to pour all of this Ooh. in here. Okay. And let's see, Kristen, what happens. I'm kind of scared here. Oh, in a volcano. There you go. <laughs> so that's what happens when you mix the two together? That's exactly right. Is that right. what happens in your stomach if you eat something acidic and basic? I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll find, find out, out in I'm summer sure camp. you'll find out at summer That's camp. That's my pat answer. You right. find out at summer camp. I'm sure you have all the answers. I know. Isn't this fun? But this, this is, is the kind fun. of thing that you can do. And, and again, at summer camp at Explora, mm -hmm. there are uh, robotics classes, as I said, and there's also kitchen chemistry, which is one of our most popular. Mm -hmm. So you learn about science that's all around you, the beauty of science, the interesting facts about science, and you don't have to be a scientist to enjoy it. Right, and if you don't do summer camp, you can still come by the museum as well. Absolutely. So tell us about that. What are your hours and, yes, and the details on that? We're open Monday through Saturday, mm -hmm. 10 until 6, and then Sundays, noon until 6. And we have, for you big kids, we have an cool. adult night coming up. It's May 18th. It's all adults. All adults. And you know we changed the theme. Okay. So this theme is under the microscope. We'll be examining all sorts of items. Uh, we have Le Chat Lunatique playing. Uh, we have the local astronomers on our outdoor deck. So you can Ooh. see the night sky. Ra ham radio operators. Maybe we'll contact uh, people from other countries. Oh, this sounds like so much fun because you know you don't want to quit learning and exploring just because you grow up. You know, that's so right. I, I like it that you have something for the adults too. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Tell us one more time where you're located and and some information so people can get in touch with you or in touch with your program to get their kids into summer camp. The best thing to do is go to explora.us, our website summer camp classes you can pick up a booklet mm -hmm. uh, you can see these on the website also it starts june 4th registration is open and we're near old town come on over great exhibits great programs all right thank you so much ellen had so much fun with you this morning thank and you coming up next on new mexico style albuquerque's very own tin man you're going to want to see it stick around